What's up, everybody? Public service announcement to all my white peoples out there in the United States of America and all around the world. Don't let Halloween 2017 get your ass whipped. Say that one more again just in case you didn't hear it clearly the first time and you don't feel like rewinding the, the video. Don't let Halloween 2017 get your ass whipped. It's been long enough. We're just going to say long enough. <laughs> to where we know better as people not to do certain shit. So therefore when it is done, we understand that it's done with malicious intent. Now you may have your one or two out there who... uh feel like they're not being disrespectful, but you are. And I'm speaking on behalf of the black people, of course, the Mexicans, the West Indians, the true Native Americans, the Latinos, and in, and in most cases, the Asians as well. We can throw them in there, the Japanese, etc. You can be respectfully dressing up as a traditional person from any of these ethnicities that I named and not be disrespectful especially blacks because history has shown us white people has had a habit of purposely being disrespectful when it comes to these ethnicities that I named including blacks <laughs> um, just five years ago this is when I first really seen it from my experience um, white people dressing up as characters, as black people, painting their faces black, black face. You know, you can be respectful and not be disrespectful. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? So let's lay some ground rules here. One, if you voted for Donald Trump, don't dress up as any type of Mexican character. Fuck you. You're going to get your ass whipped. Um, <laughs> two, um, don't dress up as any Asian character with the intention of going around speaking Asian and doing a bunch of fucking dumbass shit that's going to get you stomped out. You know better. Uh, here's a good one right here. Don't dress up as any type of black person that's been killed via police brutality or any type of racial profiling. That right there is going to get you stumped out and sent to the hospital. We don't give a fuck. Because I've seen pictures, especially in the past couple of years, the past three years actually, since I've been in California, where white people in the, in the Bay Area say niggas so fucking casually that I had to check a few of them at my last job and at my current job. You know, I, I've had to check a few of them. And you know, black folks, we got to be careful. Mexicans, we got to be careful. You know, as well as everybody else, we got to be careful. But I'm, I'm primarily speaking to my black folks right now. Black folks, we got to be careful because when it comes to correcting somebody, we have a tendency to act out. So you got to understand that the white people that be doing that shit, they kind of do it in whispers and behind the scenes to where nobody can really see them. And when we act out, our acting out is justified by what they did. But, you know, they still get us for lashing out like that so you gotta pull them to the side when nobody's really looking and you gotta let them know hey you know don't say that shit again you know you know you gotta say it with a smile on your face to let them know hey okay it's all good but don't say that shit again you know what i mean so that being said back to my original topic white people don't go blackface like i said you can dress up respectfully as a black character without doing blackface it's not that fucking hard. Just don't paint your fucking face black with the, you know, because that right there isn't, that's right there is a symbol for you as, as a sign that you clearly want to get stumped out by a mob of, of black folk and anybody that respects black people. You know, don't go around saying, nigga, <laughs> you must want to get cut. Okay, let me uh, end it there, you know, but, uh, but yeah. Besides that, you know, uh, oh, before I leave out, don't go dressed up as, as I was stating before, before I end this, don't go dressing up as any black person or anybody that's been killed via police brutality or any type of racial profiling because, 
you're going to get your ass whipped. You know, I've seen pictures, like I was saying, you know, before, of Trayvon Martin, uh, of people, of white people dressing up as Trayvon Martin. You know, they go paint their faces black and they look like a sad fucking clown and they put ketchup stains on like a gray hoodie, and, and, you know, to mimic where he was shot and where the blood was coming out of his body and have Skittles in one hand, a bag of Skittles in one hand and tea in the other. You know what I mean? Like just being verily disrespectful, very disrespectful to the point where if I can just reach through this picture, grab you by your fucking throat, pull you over here for just good just a good five minutes just a good five minutes but you know <laughs> wishful thinking but um but yeah man public service announcement white people don't get your ass up 2017 you can dress up as snoop dog you can dress up as ice cube you can dress up as you know um any like i said any black s character from any anime whatever you know and not be disrespectful with it you know just don't paint your fucking face black you ain't got no, you ain't got nothing to worry about you know what i'm saying don't do stupid shit basically so have a safe halloween go eat some candy up go to the bar eat some food up eat some halloween themed food up or whatever the case is and uh yeah man let's just enjoy ourselves you know it ain't gotta be a, it ain't gotta be no problems unless you make it one peace